What up, Mr. Curtis? We have a video here about some glitches that happen while you're working on Instacart. Sometimes when you're in the middle of a batch, it seems a little bit more antagonizing, but you just have to understand why it's occurring. For instance, like the first glitch we have is when you're shopping and all of a sudden in the middle of a batch and you're trying to scan something, it won't scan and the app might freeze. The reason why it's doing that is because it's attempting to update. Sometimes the customer wants to add a, an item or subtract an item. And so they're probably doing it live, real time while you're sitting there shopping. And so when the order comes through and it wants to correct it, it's trying to do it before you scan the item so there's no errors. So then the app just, it freezes sometimes. Best thing to do is just back out of that screen, go to your main menu and go to the bar where it says to refresh screen and it'll, it'll be highlighted in Instacart green and you refresh and it goes back to the order. You go back into the batch and it takes you right back where you were. So then the second glitch that takes place is once you, you've checked out and you have everything loaded into the card and trying to scan your receipts, whichever order you scan them in, as you're scanning the receipt, always have it in the best light possible. If you try to scan in like a dark light, it won't show the total of the receipt. And that's the important part. That's what the app is actually looking for, the total to match whatever it is you purchase. So once, the, once it sees that they match, it accepts the receipts and it goes on to the second batch. But then when you're trying to upload the receipt, sometimes you submit too fast, meaning that once you scan the picture, it takes two or three seconds for it to upload to the app. So you have to wait two or three seconds and then you click submit. Like a lot of people, you'll try to upload the, the picture and then you immediately click submit, trying to go as fast as possible, but it won't accept it because it takes two or three seconds. So if it doesn't accept it, sometimes it'll say it didn't get the picture and it'll be in red or it'll just freeze and you got to go back and do it again. And it seems like there's a problem, but it's not. The app just doesn't have a status bar showing you zero to 100% as to how long it takes to set the picture. So if you just take two or three seconds after you take a picture of the receipt and then click submit, it goes through smoothly, then you can go on and finish your delivery. And the third glitch that occurs sometimes is that while you're driving, obviously we're not supposed to multitask while we're driving because it becomes a distraction, which is, you know, distracted driving. Like right now, there's a car just in the middle of the road with the blinkers on. So this is one of the things that we can't be distracted from. It's actually a long line of cars here going somewhere. It's probably COVID-19 clinic. But while we're driving, obviously you have your eyes on the road, eyes to the left and right, and you're looking at your rear view, and then you glance at the app every now and then to make sure you're not missing the turn or GPS isn't doing something wrong. Sometimes it'll just spin. All right, then all of a sudden you get a message from one of the customers. So if, if you're doing three to five orders, something like that, like the last one I had, I had three orders. And as I was on delivery order A, batch A, customer C gave me a message trying to be nice. They were giving me the gate code to their apartment. But the glitch is that the name popped up. And so it had her name and it had the first letter of her last name. So the first letter of her last name was A. And so it looked like as I glanced at it, that it was batch A and the customer was trying to tell me that this was the gate code, but I was actually at a house. I was already there. And so to make sure that I'm not dropping it off in the wrong place, I tried to re-message and I took a picture of the person's address saying, is this your house? And they were like, no, I live in the apartments. And so long story short, it was just that the message was coming from batch letter C, not batch letter A, but it, it doesn't tell you that, it just gives you their name. So obviously while you're driving, unless you have all the customer's names memorized at that point in time, it might be a distraction. So just pull over for a second to be safe. Maybe turn your hazards on or just drive to a parking lot and just look at your app for a second. But that's it, just those three glitches for today. Take your time, Instacart drivers. Good luck.